The Grand Tour. Jack, Will, Julie, and Charlotte and I went down a big hallway to some wide stairs. No one said a word as we walked up to the third floor. When we got to the top of the stairs, we went down a little hallway full of lots of doors. Julian opened the door marked 301. This is our homeroom, he said. We have Miss, we have Miss Potosa. They say she's okay, at least for homeroom. I heard she's really strict if you got in her, her for math, though. That's not true, said Charlotte. My sister had her last year, and she's totally nice. Not what I heard, but whatever. He closed the door and continued walking down the hallway. This is the science lab, he said, when he got to the next door. And just like he did two seconds ago, he stood in front of the half-open door and started talking. He didn't look at me once while he talked, which is, was okay, because I wasn't looking at him either. You won't know who you have for science until the first day of school, but you want to get Mr. Haller. He used to be in the lower school. He would play this giant tuba in class. It was a baritone horn, said Charlotte. It was a tuba, answered Julian, closing the door. Dude, let him go inside so he can check it out, Jackwell told him, pushing past Julian and opening the door. Go inside if you want. It was the first time he looked at me. I shrugged and walked over to the door. Julian moved out of the way quickly, like he was afraid I might accidentally touch him as I passed by. Nothing much to see. He started pointing to a bunch of stuff around the room. That's the incubator. That big black thing is a chalkboard. These are desks. These are chairs. Those are the Bunsen burners. This is a gross science poster. This is chalk. This is, an, this is the eraser. I'm sure he knows what an eraser is, Charlotte said, sounding a little like BF. How would I know what he knows, Julian answered. Mr. Tushman said he's never been to school before. You know what an eraser is, right? Charlotte asked me. I admit I was feeling so nervous that I didn't know what to say or do except look at the floor. Hey, can you talk, asked Jackwell. Yeah, I nodded. I st still really hadn't looked at any of them yet, not directly. You know what an eraser is, right? Of course, I mumbled. I told you there was nothing to see in here, said Julian, struggling. I have a question, I said, trying to keep my voice steady. Um, what exactly is homeroom? Is that a subject? No, that's just your group, explained Charlotte, ignoring Julian's smirk. It's like where you go to get to school in the morning and your homeroom teacher takes attendance and stuff like that. In a way, it's your main class, even though it's not really a class. I mean, it's a class, but I think he gets it, Charlotte, said Jackwell. You get it, Charlotte asked? Yeah, I nodded. Okay, let's get out of here, said Jackwell, walking away. Wait, Jack, we're supposed to be answering questions, said Charlotte. Jackwell rolled his eyes a little as he turned around. Do you have any questions? Um, no, I answered. Oh, well, yes. Is your name Jack or Jackwell? Jack is my first name. Well, is my last name, he said. Oh, because Mr. Tushman introduced you as Jack Will, so I thought, Ha, ah, you thought his name was Jack Will, laughed Julian. Yeah, some people call me by my first and last name, Jack, said shrugging. I don't know why. Anyone, can we go now? Let's go to the performance space next, said Charlotte, leading the way out of the science room. It's very cool. You'll like it, August.